name is Vata Lita Hosen. You must say it from the back of your throat. There, everyone say it with me now. Vata Lita Hosen. Say it correctly. Hosen. Hello, hello. Welcome to Kids Lab. I'm very much excited to sit with you today as we focus and do science. My favorite thing in the world, my two favorite things, is to learn about God and science. Everyone say it with me. One, two, three. Science. I love science. Now, some of you children may have got one of these in your, in your, in your Bach hack. I think that's how pronounced. Hack, Bach, Bach. It would have looked like this. I, I'm trying to figure out how to make this thing fly. I, I keep going. It won't, oh, it won't fly. I'm like, ah, ah, I broke it. Oh, where'd it go? Hold on, let me find that. Oh, no. Back that little hose and doing crazy things already. <laughs> All right, well, we'll come back to this. Well, today for Kids Lab, we are going to learn how to focus on a target to make an amazing, an amazing, I mean, yes, amazing things. Um, if you would like to go... You may get your Kids Lab Day One packet. That's right, you need to get that. Um, this is experiment that Vata Lirohosen did many years ago when he was in the Eastern European, um, Eastern European, German, French, Italian region of science and technology, learning about mole rats. That's right, mole rats. That's right, it's a very, very important thing I was learning about. But I learned when you want to catch a mall rat, you must, have, you must have something that you can catch them with. And so I have created a ping pong launcher that would allow you to, to shoot the mall rat like this. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, then you make a very fun game. You shoot. Oh, look at that! There we go. So today, we're going to make our own ping pong ball mall rat, <laughs> ping pong ball mall rat shooter so that we can focus on a target and see how accurate we will be. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to need your kit like this and I'm going to turn it over to my friend and she will show you how to quickly make, make this amazing, amazing craft. And then we come back together at the very end and see how we're doing. Here we go. We are ready for our day one STEM option balloon cup launchers. These are super fun to make and play with. Kids will get a load ball in and launch it out. Uh, we have awesome targets that you can download and print and the kids can then, uh, pay, after they build their launcher, try to earn points, have fun playing. And these are Nice and soft, they're not gonna hurt anybody. So let's get started on making this. Kids will need cups, balloons, and duct tape to make their launcher. Depending on the age of the kids, you might want to have this hole already cut out for them. If it's your older um, fourth and fifth graders, they could probably cut it. It's probably a little dangerous for um, the little ones. So I would start by cutting out a little hole so then you can get your scissors in. And we just take off the whole bottom of this cup. There you go. And now you should have a hole here and a hole back here. This could be a little sharp, so we're gonna take care of that with some duct tape. And it's the more fun colors or designs, the better the kids love getting to be creative. They're just gonna wrap this edge with tape and then this gets tucked in. Hopefully they'll make it a little bit prettier than I just did. I'm gonna trim this to get it to lay down. Okay, next. They're gonna be doing the balloon portion. They'll need a balloon and they'll trim off 
the top of the balloon. So then you should have a hole in the top and then this is the bottom. You could have the kids tie this off now or they could tie it off after they put it on. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay, got that, tie the knot. And now they're gonna take their balloon with the hole. They're going to open it up. Hmm. Well, that one wouldn't do it for me. Maybe this one will. Cut the top off. Let's get you guys. Come on. You could do it. Sorry about that. I was able to get this open. So now once they cut the top of the balloon off, they're going to stretch it over the complete bottom of their cup. Might take a little bit of work, but you want to be nice and taut. That's going to give us the launcher part. Then we're going to use some more duct tape and duct tape him down so he doesn't go anywhere while they're playing and doing target practice. All the way around. And that's all to it. There. Thank you, thank you, my friend. So hopefully everyone has now made their ping pong ball shooter. And it is now time for you to find your target, your focus target that looks like these. All right, and then you will find a place to put it. Preferably not on your, on your brother or sister's face. Do not adhere it to their face and shoot ping pong balls at them because they are not mall rat. We do not shoot ping pong balls at things that are not mall rat, okay? Here we go, but you may put it, and do not shoot at the mother, okay? Mother is a good person, okay? Do not shoot at the father. Do not shoot at the dog. But if you see a small gerbil, you may shoot the ping pong ball at the gerbils, okay? Because they're very crazy animal, the crazy, crazy gerbils. They come up to you and they're like, tut, 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 and you're like, get away from me, you gerbil. They're very crazy animals, okay? But do not shoot at humans or, or pets in the home, okay? Unless you have pet gerbil, in which case, you're kind of crazy, man, okay? <laughs> you're a little crazy, crazy. Just like my friend downstairs, crazy. All right, so you would put it at the target, and then you can focus on shooting the target, or you can just shoot the ball up in the air. It is so much fun. Now, as we do this, we will learn to focus on our target and how we're going to hit it very, very well. In much the same way that we must learn to focus on God so that he can teach us about the plans for our life. And you know what God's plan for my life is? Is to teach you science! To teach you science! And to see if we can now shoot ping pong ball at the camera. Here we go! Oh, that one went a little high. Let's try another one. I want to, let me focus, focus. Oh, that one went a little short. Oh, focus. Oh, we're going to hit it any moment now. Oh, that one went a little high. Oh, you must really focus. Oh, that one went right by you. Oh, I'm making, oh, <laughs> I hit, Woo! <laughs> Man, fuck that Leo has been having so much fun with this bing bong ball shooter. Oh, oh, ah, I got you. I get you again. Man, someone's going to have to clean up on aisle five. Clean up, please. We make very big mess. Oh, right, let's shoot a few more. Oh, 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 let's see what happens. Let's shoot four in a row. Here we go. Oh, 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 that's bad. Oh, and one more. Oh, wait, one more. Ah, there we go. Well, we hope you have very much fun in Kids Lab today making a very cool ping pong ball shooter for mall rats and small gerbils. Please do not hurt anyone, and we will see you tomorrow on Kids Lab with Bakta Leader Hosen. Goodbye! Oh, wait, I forgot. I learned how to do it now. You don't spin it that way, you spin it this way. There we go. Let's see. Oh, look at that! Oh, one more time! Oh! Hey! See you later, alligators! Bye.